later, later. Hello, base. Just about ready to go. And on the mound now, Trevor Rogers. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Well, it hasn't been a great year so far. in terms of ERA, but he's had some decent games, and there have been some flashes of greatness, if you will. We'll see today if he's able to get ahead of him. The tag, and he's out at second. <laughs> so much for the first hit right there. Good move, and he had him leaning all the way. Fouled off. He was late. Come on now, rip it. And he'll one. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back. Gone! That one felt good. It's his sixth home run of the season, and they grab the lead. It's 1-0. was a hanger and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that and right there he made him pay back here in Lone Depot Park and now the right fielder Sammy Sosa singing you can't ask for anything more this guy checks all the boxes offensively he is the ultimate professional and it doesn't just start at game time it starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game I tell you what his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field now a what check swing at the 1-1 look down to first and that's gonna be ruled a swing the pitch That misses the zone. Three and one. Let's go, Jay. Come on, one time right here. And he pumps it a strike. Full count. That one ripped. Round, round, round. And it hits the fence. And that's a double. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but he'll take that swing and that result every time. And up next for Chicago, Sammy Sosa. He's already homered here in this one. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. And a foul ball. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch. Next pitch downstairs. And now it's even one and one. It's for average power, the ability to feel the arm, and then the speed. Really impressive. Next offering is downstairs. If he can get through this one, put up a zero. This will help in his outings to come. Hit hard. Should be extra bases. Coming home. One run is in. In safely with a double. His second of the day. The run scores all the way from first. And it's 4-0. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Here's a big power threat. Sammy Sosa. He had a big swing for these guys way back in the first inning. Yeah, Boogie didn't waste any time in this one. The solo shot really got his team going, and he's looking for more right here. And that one sliced foul. 
So here in the three spot, Chris, a hitter, low average, but high slug. Well, one thing he's going to lean on are the metrics. His exit velocity has been really good. He's just had some bad luck hitting the ball right at people. Righty delivers. And downstairs. Davis at third with two away. Out to short. Wendell handles. Out number three. Cubs leave one. They leave. So up next, Sammy Sosa. He's already homered in this game. Barnes, a former All-Star, 32 years old, and they traded for him earlier this year. Late swing, fouled off. Barnes, a 6'4 righty, 210 pounds, a former first-round pick back in 2011. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Hey, clutch up right now for us, kid. Right-handed reliever. There's a swing and a drive. Chisholm going back, back some more, and that one is gone. A three-run homer, and they add to their lead. It's 7-0. This guy's velocity, a changeup, is really a break for a hitter. He got a BP fastball, didn't move a whole lot, and he absolutely tattooed it. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. This one ends 7-0. The Cubs go home a winner for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long. For the Marlins, no run. I sleep on my and tell me. Here's some real power at the plate. Mark McGuire. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. Long run, nice grab. And the inning is over. And down in. And now the first baseman, Mark McGuire. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. And that's in there for strike one. Remember Big Mac and Sammy Sosa going head-to-head -head in 1998. McGuire ultimately would lead the majors in home runs that year with 70 of them. McGuire led the majors in home runs four different times, including his rookie year in 1987. And a swing and a miss. Third out. The cards leave one. Still down, 3-0. Back here in L.A., start of the six, John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Mark McGuire. And the pitch. Swing and a miss.
And now the lefty. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. The next pitch misses, and that's ball one. It's a good take. And the pitch. Got him. And there's one down. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Mark McGuire. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Next offering is in for a strike. And there's the strike. Not close with that one. Two and two. There we go, kid. At the belt and fires. That one missing inside. Got a full count. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. One, two. And your final score, 5-2. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding. Welcome to Marlins. Here's the veteran outfielder, Sammy Sosa. Blasted two home runs in last night's game. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Horner stands at first with one out. Next offering upstairs. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. To first, and he breaks for second. To second, and he's out. <laughs> so much for the first hit right there. Good move, and he had him leaning all the way. No score, just getting started. Top of the first. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Back to him with the breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Next offering misses. Three balls and a strike. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away. You get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. The wind of the pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over all set for the start of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Sammy Sosa. And a pitch. Lazardo, 25 years old, and he was a third round pick back in 2016. Next one misses, now 2 0. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up, and that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. And he deals. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been. So up now for Chicago, Sammy Sosa. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals.
Next pitch misses inside. Two balls, no strikes. Way inside, and that hit him. Fastball high and tight right there. A scary combo. I'll tell you what. Every Back here in Miami, and now the right fielder, Sammy Sosa. Cabrera back to work. And a swing and a miss. You know, these Cubs, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've heard lots of loud noise coming from their bats in this one, haven't we? I mean, they've logged six hits at 90-plus exit velocity, and that doesn't happen by accident. Next pitch misses. Going to count one and two. That hits the dirt. It's two and two. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Well, he's just glad that he got hit with an off. Base is empty with two away. Sammy Sosa will hit next. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track. First offering misses the mark. And there's a ball. 2-0 count. You really don't want to give in here. You've got to work the edges. Really execute a pitch. Hopefully you can get back into this count. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Well, that was an important yeah, bat yeah. in this game. So a great job there That's stepping great. up to the challenge. Absolutely Ooh, yeah. hammered that baseball very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity. And at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. Well, these guys just hadn't been playing fundamentally sound baseball. But today, they put it together. This should start them rolling now. You have to pay attention to the details. If you do that, Man at first with one gone. Here's the veteran first baseman, Mark McGuire. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. Here comes a pitch. You know, Mark McGuire wasn't the only great athlete in his family. His brother Dan played his college football at San Diego State, and he was a first-round pick in the NFL. Ground ball left side could be two. Muncy tossed the second on the first double play. And that's the inning. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. New inning getting started. Now up for St. Louis, Mark McGuire. Chris, you know, Mark McGuire was a first-round pick by the Oakland A's in 1981. But he was a first-round pick out of USC, and he was teammates there. Not everybody knows this with Randy Johnson. On the ground. Oh, a great grab on the dive. The throw in time. Got him. What an acrobatic play right there. Knocks it down. Throws from the seat of his pants and just looks like he's playing in the backyard. He makes it look really easy. Top six. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Mark McGuire. Gonsolin back to work. And a swing and a miss there. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. Next offering way upstairs.
And a good eye there. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit. So. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Two, 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 two. And that one hops the wall. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Well, a swing like that can yeah, help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. One down, and up next for St. Louis, Mark McGuire. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Here we go now. Come on now. One time. On the ground to third. To second. There's one double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. Nothing across here this half. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Dodgers five and the Cardinals nothing. One is how it ends for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. Thank mm -hmm. you.